Yeah, Token Rambo is my favorite clan. Can you tell? Hey everyone, Tatsuya here. Uh, Token Rambo is back in Vanguard. I love this. I, I literally cried when they announced this last year during the Overdress uh, well, overview and kind of announcement thing. Um, and it's finally back in English as well. I actually uh, didn't play Token Rambo in English. I played it in Japanese. And uh, the Torumaru is my best boy. He's the best sword. I love him to death. He's my husband. And uh, Kashi Kimitz is also a good, really good boy. <laughs> He's also a really good boy. One thing uh, we got, uh, I forgot this guy's name, but they're friends. And I know the grade two searches him out anyway. And uh, he's pretty good at order. Uh, he's a pretty good support card. And uh, trigger orders in this set. Uh, this is the first set for Vanguard that has a trigger order, which is really cool. And uh, the token Rambu rares are amazing, <laughs> but they're expensive. Yes, the token Rambu rares are really expensive for some reason. I don't know why. I guess they're a lot rarer than they are in Japanese. Uh, that's probably uh, probably the reason. I'm gonna try and get this tape off. I like to keep the boxes. I think. I'm, there we go. A little scuffed, but it's fine. I think I'm going to buy every overdress trial deck and uh, starter deck just to have them. <laughs> uh, so pretty much. Uh, this is, ooh, yay, the power counter. This is really pretty. This one has power on it instead of the critical that the uh, Lyrical Monasterio one had. But yeah, uh, this is really similar. If you bought the Lyrical Monasterio TD, you'll know they came with these power counters and so does the Token Rambler one. For some reason, the flaps at the front, I mean, you can get a better image that way. But I don't know. Um, just put that there for now. So right, where's the thing? Oh, it's at the bottom. <laughs> there we go. That's right. That's right. Uh, so I've got two of these power. Okay, uh, two of each now. But these ones have crits on them. This just has power. Uh, I don't know. But these are. A lot prettier in my opinion. I like the the pink and blue. It fits uh, anyway with this whole cashier thing and uh, the the blue boy. I forgot his name. Um, I have this weird theory that maybe like the Kiwame units would uh, be like overdress over the thing. But no, it's all just part of the ride line, which I appreciate anyway. <laughs> uh, that was like... God, it was like January last year that I had that thought. And now it's January this year, and we actually have the set in English. Ooh. So uh, let's make that 15, so they even... It's like a little can cotton candy look. I really... I'm really digging that. I really like that kind of aesthetic. Anyway, so uh, we got the playmat here, and the paper playmats for Token Rambo are really pretty. I think I'm gonna put this up on my wall. Like, my literal wall. Not like, uh, my Twitter wall. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yamato no Kami Yasusada. Duh. Of course. How could I forget Yamato no Kami Yasusada? Yeah, you know, we got uh, the basic explanation of the ride line. Kashi commits. He is a good boy. Go alongside Kashi commits. You can go to Kashi commits, to Sento, to Toku, to thing. So Sento's just battle. Uh, the SSRs, they're really pretty, but they're like 400 bucks. And then the token Rambu rares, which is really cool. I'll be really disappointed if I get the PG. Uh, what I really want is either one of these three, uh, a trigger, or, um, just 
literally anything that isn't thing. The the PG. And uh, boom, the play mat. It's really pretty. It's got that chicken rambo aesthetic that I love so much. I stopped playing the um. We got the thing. We got the uh. We got the browser game in English last year, and I stopped playing it after I got Hatoda Maru. After I um managed to forge him. So. I'll be honest. It's not a very good game. It is something. So, if I can get this off, it's really tight. We've got our uh, triple rare version of Kashi Kimits. And we got two extra copies for Persona Ride. I think there's like all the chances for thing out at the end. We got a few more copies of him in the grade two. We got a few more of the grade one copies. We got Ishikim, uh, Ishikiri Maru. During your turn, if you have no first up cards in the damage zone, plus okay. Eh, he's like an 18 key beater. You got like three of him. He is, I think, I have him. I have a bunch of him, the old ones in Japanese, but in this one, he's a vanilla. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't even mention. Uh, when it's rode by the, t uh, the grade two, look at the top card of your deck and put it on the top or bottom. Oh, put it on top. Or into soul, which is kind of cool. Uh, the grade two says when he's rode over by the grade three, he can uh, he can search you. You search your deck for uh, Yamato no Kami Yasu Sada, reveal it and put it in your hand. And then the grade three says uh, during your turn, uh, if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone, this unit gets plus 10k and. Once per turn, counter blast one, soul blast one, look at the top card of your deck, put it on top or bottom, and draw a card. Uh, so yeah, it's really good. It's really good. So it's kind of like a, like, I guess OTT plus alt mile. Uh, is what people have been saying. I don't know, I'm lazy. So yeah, oh, we only get one copy of him. In uh, here's Yamato no Kami as the starter. He's really great because he has act once per turn. Uh, not even once per turn, it's just act, counter blast one. And he gets plus 5k until end of turn. And if your vanguard is Kashi, uh, Kashi Kiwame, Kiwame, Kiwami, probably meh, uh, he gets plus 10k instead. So literally, you can just spam that to make all your damage face down to give your. Thing the plus 10k, your Vanguard the plus 10k, and uh, he becomes a fucking billion power beater. He's pretty good. Uh, so we get three of him, but we could technically get four. He's pretty good too. When he's placed on Regard Circle, you can look at the top uh, two cards of the deck and uh, just rearrange them, uh, which is pretty neat. You get a couple copies of him. This is the bad PG, but. Uh, he used to be the stride fodder uh, in the original set, and then in set two he was a counter charge go to soul, go to soul counter charge draw trigger. I think you draw a card maybe I don't know. You counter charged at least that's what I remember. <sighs> the fucking vanilla. Here's okay, once per turn, look at the top card of your deck and put it on the top or bottom. Um, if you put it on the bottom, he gets plus 2k, can be a 10k beater, kind of in eh. Uh, of course, we got crits, we got four crits. Oh, we got three. Oh, oh you get four, technically. You get uh, four draws. There's all the trial decks, they follow that. Mirare Tochiro, he's also a good boy, I like him a lot. He's a crit in Token Rambo Hanamaru. Uh, in the Hanamaru thing. He's a, uh, in the, in the Hanamaru sets, that's it. He's, um, a stand in one of the original sets. And in one of the other original sets, he is a starter, I think. So yeah, he's a forerunner starter with a alright skill. And then Gokutai is one of my favorite triggers. He is one of my favorite heals. 
So I'm glad he's back as a heal. So we did not get the grade two. We did not get the grade one. We did not get the starter, no. Uh, we didn't get Ishikimaru, we didn't get him. We didn't get him. Oh, thank God we didn't get the PG. <laughs> uh, we didn't get the crit, didn't get the draw, didn't get the front, didn't get the heal, didn't get the over trigger. But we got. Oh! These are like the best two uh, TRRs to get. Oh my god. Fucking busted. Holy shit. Um, this is amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing! Um, I'm fucking happy. I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I love these two, even though I completely blanked out on his name earlier. Um, ah, I'm like actually fucking shaking a bit. That, like, holy shit! These are like the best two TRRs I could have gotten. I kind of wanted the starter, but I I don't care. Because I got them! Um, oh my god! <laughs> um, the over trigger is actually pretty good. Um, when you drive check it, all of your units get plus one crit until the end of turn. But when you play it as an order, um, choose one of your vanguards, it gets plus one crit. And then if your damage zone has five or more cards, all of your units get plus 10k, which is really interesting. Um, or you can play the Cray, Ele uh, Cray Elemental over trigger and just have the 50k shield if you draw into it. But uh, there is a double rare in the set uh, that lets you, if you drive check the over trigger, it lets you actually put it into your hand instead of discarding it. Or instead of removing it from the game. Um, but yeah, oh my god, we got the arguably the best two. Tr uh, Token Rambo Rares to get out of this uh, little trial deck. Um, so I'm extremely happy. <laughs> this is going in my ride deck, and um, this is the one I'm always searching. Um, so yeah, I love Token Rambo. I'm in love with Token Rambo. It is the best. I'm really glad. Thank you, Bushi, for fucking bringing it back as a collab for Overdress. Um, please make a set to. It looks like the token Rambo rares are really popular, so maybe you could bring it back as a set two, English original set two. I don't think it's sold that. I don't know if it's sold that well in Japan, but you guys like announced the set two for Monster Strike and for um, what's the other one? Shaman King. So set two for token Rambo, please. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, follow my Twitter, follow my Twitch, and um, bye.